In this video, I'll show you how to set up Tailwind CSS in a Laravel project. I'll start by creating a new Laravel project using the Laravel installer, Laravel new, and I'll call this project Laravel Tailwind CSS. All right, next I'll install Tailwind CSS and its peer dependencies with npm install d, Tailwind CSS, post CSS, and auto prefixer. All right, next I'll go in the webpack mix file and in the array down here, I will require Tailwind CSS as a post CSS plugin. Now I need to create a Tailwind config file, which will be our control center to configure and customize Tailwind. And I can do that with npx Tailwind CSS init. And let's open that file. All right, so Tailwind is a framework for building bespoke user interfaces, and it has been designed from the ground up with customization in mind. And this Tailwind config is the central place for those customizations. I have a theme option here where I can add or customize things like colors, font sizes, or the spacing scale. I can also register first party or custom plugins here. And there's lots of other configuration options, but a very important one, which we're going to look at now, is this content array here. So Tailwind generates CSS on demand based on the classes we're actually using in our project. But for it to work, I need to tell Tailwind where I'll be using classes, where my template files are located in this specific project. Most of the templating action in the Laravel app happens in this resources directory. And you can see we have a views folder here and we have this welcome.blade.php file. So I could tell Tailwind to look into the resources directory slash views slash welcome.blade.php. Okay, but what if later in the project I have a new file called about.blade.php? Well, of course, I could add the path to this file in my content array. But as you can imagine, that would get pretty tedious to list each file individually. And I'd need to come back to my Tailwind config file every time I add a file in my project. Luckily, Tailwind's content configuration supports glob patterns, which means that I can use wildcard characters to catch multiple files. So here I can replace welcome with a star, and this will now catch any file with the .blade.php extension inside the views folder. So I can get rid of the second line since it will be covered by the first line. Okay, now let's say that in my views folder, I have an about directory and then a file called me.blade.php. Well, this star here is looking at the file name, but it won't match it since we've moved up one directory. Turns out that I can use slash double star in my pattern here, and this will match anything inside the views directory, directly in it or in subdirectories as well. So it will match about slash me.blade.php, but also about slash teams, slash design slash steve dot blade dot php. Any file that is inside the views directory and ends with dot blade dot php will be matched. Now, what if instead of dot blade dot php, the steve view is a view component? Well, our current pattern will not match this, but you can also use curly braces to match a series of comma separated values. So here I can look for blade dot php, but also view, and let's also add JavaScript. Okay, so I can remove that line. And currently we're still covering only the views directory, but it's also possible that we may have a JavaScript file in here using Tailwind classes. So I can actually get rid of views in my path. And so now everything inside the resources folder, so any file inside this resources folder, like the JavaScript or views directories will be covered. Okay, I think we're good now. What's important to understand here though is whatever goes inside this content array might be different for your specific project. You essentially need to make sure that anywhere that you use Tailwind classes in a file, that file needs to be somewhere listed in this content array. All right, next I will go in the CSS directory and open this app.css file. Inside, I'll add the three Tailwind directives at Tailwind base, at Tailwind components, and at Tailwind utilities. All right, we should be all good to go. I'll just quickly replace the content of welcome.blade.php and I'll delete everything in there and replace it with a minimal HTML scaffolding, which is referencing our CSS file. I will start the build process with npm run watch and I'll add some Tailwind classes to the h1 tag, text 3xl, yep, font bold, underline, and looks like everything's working. 